What's up guys, this is Mr. Angokus, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So in the last episode, we took on Marble Garden Zone, and in this episode, we're gonna go through Carnival Night Zone. <coughs> so the gimmick with Carnival Night Zone is this, that, <coughs> it's just a giant-ass carnival. And there's a there's lights, and there's balloons, there's bumpers, there's also telepathic stairs. And this place, this actually, this is actually Crush City to me, because you can, there's a lot of things here that can crush you. Yes, even these bumpers can crush you in the wrong spot, that is. But you don't have to worry about that at moments, but I digress. So the enemies here, we have bats, we have some little shell, um, some, these like shell enemies, these guys right here. And later we're gonna encounter some electrical battery looking guys. I can't really say what they're called. But yeah. And that should be all the enemies for this area for now. But the bubble shield for Act 2 is gonna be your best friend. And I actually had to do a test run of this. Cause I forgot how to beat the boss in this level. But I digress. Ooh, no way. Yeah, in the extra video, I'll show off the bonus stages. Sad that come in mind. And yeah. Uh, it's not really high in platforms. Duh. Got nothing to say. Oh! Oh well. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I'm surprised Sonic can hang off for that long. I think I, yeah, I think I went the wrong way. Oh, snap! For some reason I saw that coming, but I didn't do anything about it. So, to go up these little turn cylinders, whatever they're called, you just hold up when you're going down, you hold, when you're going down, you hold the down button, when you're going up, you press the up button. Simple as that. And later, there's gonna be this segment that, if you don't know what to do, you're gonna die. Cause back when I was a kid and I got to that one small, easy part, it took me like the whole nine minutes just to figure out what to do. But when we get to it, we'll get to it. Alright, now to come to the mini boss. So the gimmick with this mini boss is that if it show up. So the gimmick with this mini boss is that you can't damage it. You have to use the little spin the little spin blade to hit it. So you hit the boss and then you wait for the blade to come back. That's about it. And this plat and this and this boss fight's time. You got like until he destroys the whole platform, then you screwed. But if you're quick like me, no, it's no problem. And don't jump down. Like when you kill him, don't jump down because he still it still counts for a boss, and you can get crushed. Now we're introduced to the water part of Carnival of Night. Here you can get a bubble shield. And some rings. And the bubble shield will be your best friend for this level. That, this is like my favorite shield. Well, actually, my fi the fire shield is my favorite shield in general, but still. I like the bubble shield. It still comes in handy. Got water segments like these. No! Well, I guess I'll show it off. <sighs> Ooh. So basically the gimmick with the special stage is that, uh... It's just like... Well, this is one of them. The, um, casino kind of... The casino bonus stage. And 
so yeah, it's like think of it as Casino Night Zone. You just try to go for rings and stuff. And let's see, we got anything? Nah. So I'm gonna go find the goal. And let's go. Well, we got extra life. No! Screw you, man. Uh, I think if I can go find the other raptor alive. Ah! Wow. There we go again. No, no. That, those guys. These guys right here. Oh my god. The, oh my goodness. These guys right here. Mm. Yeah, these those guys are actually quite tedious if you move slow. To move slow, they'll kind of screw you over. Got myself a good fire shield. Don't jump, Tails, you dumbass. Screw you, Bat. Ah, screw you. So how's everyone doing today? Today is a good, awesome Saturday. And I'm gonna go get this extra life, and we're all good. Yeah. All right, so knuckles and invisible wall plot. No, eh. Eh. you dick. So basically, now the gimmick is that knuckles turned off the power, because I'm guessing he thinks we can't see. When clearly we can, like, you know... Yeah, I tried to do a Chuck Testa, but you know... We can still see, because this game is pretty bright, so I don't see what's the problem. And now, for these guys, they're gonna stay in place. Shit. Ooh! Oh, you can actually kill them when they're charging, cool. I did not know that. And the cool thing with balloons, and tell you ass, but thank God the water's going away. That was so gay, Tails. I swear to God. See, this is one of the reasons why I don't like bringing Tails with me. This is the reason why I don't like this level. There's too many damn springs. It's like this level's, level's known for springs. Like. What's the deal? But I digress. Yay, our second extra life in the level. Shit. Well, at least I got seven lives. Well, at least I'm doing far better than how I was in my Sonic 2 LP. Oh my god, that's so bad. I've never done so bad in a game in my life. Oh, haha, and here we introduce the new lightning shield of the game. What this does is basically it magnetizes rings to, to you. And if I can actually show a good time to use it, that'd be awesome. But you can also do a double jump with it, and that's comes in so handy later you're trying to find some goodies and stuff some treasures if there even is treasure but now we turn the light on yep. See, the lightning shield is so useful and if I think if I can keep it for a long time ah here's the second on segment I'm talking about here I got stuck when I was a kid when I got to the five minute mark, I didn't know where to go. So that's till I figured out that I have to jump down here. 
Sorry. Again, man, I'm gonna leave me the hell alone. What'd that bushing do? Oh. Alright. Time to take on the boss of this zone. And of course, it's Eggman. Can I reach him? I think I can. But the gimmick with this is that you can't touch that ball. Eggman's gonna basically use this little electrical current thing to suck you in so he can hit you. But I think. Can I? Nah, I'm not gonna try it. But the lightning shield also makes um, Sonic invulnerable to lightning. That's pretty handy. And so all you do is just... Oh, you can! If you have the lightning shield, just use the double jump ability, and this boss fight shouldn't be it's quite tedious. Ah, oh, shit. No, oh, run! I had to make a test run on how to beat this guy, man, because back then I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to do shit. You want to make sure you're as far away as possible. <laughs> so yeah, all you gotta do is just do what I'm doing, and you should eventually beat the guy. I was kind of slow, but whatever. Well, I was kind of fast, but... Shit. Asshole. Alright. Alright. Onward to some new zone we're going to... Get in, Tails! Gosh. And now we're in Ice Cap Zone. Alright, well. That that cuts off for this episode. So, this is Ms. Brunzo signing off. Leave a comment, please subscribe. See ya!